some burger is located in Chillicothe and it's sort of a big deal here. It's a 1950s style drive-in dine-in diner. It's a place where most teens get their first job. And from what I hear, it's way better than working at McDonald's, even during the busiest hours. The most notable thing about Sunburger is its ordering system. When you dine in, you call in your orders with phones placed at every booth. There was a time my father took me to Sunburger when I was real young. Real, real young. He worked a lot, so this was a special time. The young girl that seated us and served our food was cute. My dad asked what I thought of her, if I thought she was cute. His teasing made me laugh. When he went to the bathroom, I looked around. There was a display case with zippos and t-shirts. There was some cliché art of diners with thick black frames. There was the phone. The phone to call in orders. Light brown and solid plastic. I was timid, but I wanted to know what it was like to order. When I picked up the phone, when I was a bit older, I choked on an onion ring at some burger, and after that, my mother would take out the onion part of the onion ring for me, leaving only the fried outside. I didn't choke long, and it wasn't a big deal to me. I hardly remembered it. She's always been overprotective. I'm not sure why she thought that was a good idea. My older brother made fun of me for it every time we went to Sunburger. I think his jokes are what made my mom realize this was a silly idea and made her stop doing it. That and the only healthy part of the onion ring was the onion. When I was nine, I think, my friends and my brother got a hold of a lighter. We tried to start a fire with leaves and twigs and my friend's neighbor found us doing this and took the lighter. We scattered, as to avoid getting in trouble. It would have worked, but one day, we sat down next to the guy that caught us at Sunburger. He told my dad, who was none too happy. My brother and I didn't play video games for a couple days after that. It was supposed to be a week, but you know how it goes. When I was six or seven, I met my uncle, his girlfriend, and his kid at Sunburger. It was the first time meeting my mother's side of the family. I also met my grandpa on my dad's side there once, which was a great experience. He made me laugh and got me a chupa chup lollipop and Andy's mints when we were leaving. Normally I only got one or the other. But when I met my uncle, something about his smile seemed fake. We ate at the drive-in area, which I remember being a fun thing to do on a summer afternoon. My uncle pulled up his van beside our Hyundai. I think the only reason we ate there rather than inside was so my uncle could drink a beer. I didn't talk to my cousin at all. He didn't seem happy. In the middle of the meal, my uncle and my mom had a talk outside of the car in the field. I couldn't hear anything they were saying, but my uncle seemed to be making a pleading gesture. I distinctly remember him mouthing, Oh, come on, sis. When they returned, my uncle realized he forgot his wallet and asked my mom to cover them before ordering a slice of pie for everyone for dessert. Some burger has crinkle fries. And they remind me of school lunch and well, now prison lunch. But the cherry pie is the homemade kind. I'd always have room left for pie. That time, though, the pie had a smoky taste to it. When I was old enough to drive but not old enough to think, I took a girl out on a date to Sunburger. Her name was Sally. I was very nervous. When it came time to order via the phone, with the recently replaced new black phones. I asked her to do it. Sally was none too impressed with my cowardice and wasted no time calling up some other guy. Embarrassed and hungry, I just sat there, sorta disinterested in everything. 
And then I picked up the phone. Like the one I'm talking to you through right now.